Hi guys and welcome back to my 1955 renovation. I have lots of exciting news to tell you since my last video. The main one is that planning permission has been granted. I'm super excited about that and it means we can now crack on with the builder starting and extending double storey at the side, single storey at the back and all of the structural work that I could talk you through in a moment. Since my last video as well, I've taken down lots of internal walls, which is why I've decided to start upstairs. Um, as there's about 10 walls missing that were currently not missing in the last video. Um, it's been spring and it's just the start of summer now, so the garden is looking lovely, the oak trees are blooming, all the flowers, so I'm really looking forward to showing you that. And lastly, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh, so I've got another deal for you guys using the code 60NHR, where you can get 60% off your first box and 25% off the next eight boxes making dinner easier for you guys. But I'll discuss all that later and start by showing you around behind me. So if I start as you come up the stairs, this is probably the view you guys are most used to. So there's the stairs. And now this is upstairs. So what used to be here, and you can see by the lines on the ceiling, is this was our pink bathroom. Lots of you were fans of the pink bathroom. So, these walls were just simple block walls, not structural at all. all. The structure engineer verified this. So I've removed the block walls all the way across here, all the way across here where the door was to the bathroom, and then here on the stairs. And then if you follow this line, there was also a wall at an angle into what was a storage cupboard here. It makes it a lot easier for you to see what we're going to be doing now that we've got planning permission accepted, which I'm so excited about. So we've got the master bedroom in the front here. So no changes here. I've started a little bit of the rewire. Um, I've got some cable here that's come from the garage that's gonna be for a garage fuse board. But no real changes here for now. The third bedroom will be this room here. Again, a little bit of the rewire started. And then this doorway will be moving, but there'll be a doorway here going through to what will be an ensuite, pretty much where the old cupboard was. So if you look at the ceiling line, there's a wall going, stud wall going here, and we're gonna bring it all the way out to the edge here. And this will be an ensuite for this bedroom three. And then what we're gonna do is put in lots of new stud work to form a smaller bathroom in this corner here that was the second bedroom. A corridor going through here next to this window, if you envisage that sort of down through there. And that will go to the new part of the house, which is going to be a double storey extension. And then we're going to bring the stairs are being flipped. For those of you that have been watching along, they really encroach downstairs. So the stairs will be coming up this way. And we're going to have to adjust all the joists in the floor here to allow for the stairs to come up here and create this nice space. Now that I've got planning permission, this chimney stack from top to bottom is going to come out. That's why the wallpaper's still on. And there's no point stripping it, so it's all coming out. And then it should create this lovely wide hallway here with the new stud walls forming the corridor to the left and the back bathroom. And we're also going to have a bit of a storage cupboard there as well. I really like this double height space we're going to be left with. If you imagine the stairs coming up here, we've got all this lovely height and I really, really like these three windows. I was tempted for a while to make one huge window, but I actually think the three windows with the two down here add some real character to the house and are quite different from your average house. So it should look really nice. Only other thing I've noticed up here is there's the world's biggest loft hatch. I'm really not liking that, although that's useful for getting things up in there. I want to reduce that as we go on. I'll show you a little peek of the garden. It's looking so lovely out there now. Look at these big, I think they're oak trees, although someone told me one of them might be a beech tree. Um, there's loads and loads of roses that have all popped up everywhere. Um, but I'm not exactly a garden buff, so you guys will have to teach me what we have back here as I don't know much about garden, <laughs> but I'm going to learn quickly, I'm sure. Now I've created, when I was removing this wall, the block work came down on the stairs and we boarded it all out, but it still managed to break one stair. So I've fixed it, but I've created a sort of Home Alone style death trap here. So I'm going to cautiously go down. 
a notch step on that broken one there. There we go. Bit deadly. So now the plan is to bring the stairs up here under these windows. This window is getting completely blocked off and then the stairs will come up here and it should free up more of this space as you come in the front door because it really encroaches straight away and the door even hits the underside of the stairs as well. I'll show you briefly the front garden, even the front garden's looking lovely, these two trees either side. Looks so nice. And all the planting down the side. The eventual goal in the long term is to have an in and out drive. But I'm not sure when that's going to begin yet. Depends how much money's left, if any, at the end. This sort of double space living room. It started to be full of insulation and things, getting ready for the stud work. This eventually is going to be split into two. So this front part, probably from about here, is going to be our office. Um, we're probably going to have the desk here, we think. We're not 100% sure. With some bookshelves across the stud wall here. And then the other side of this stud wall, where I'm walking into now, will be a utility room going into the extension, which will be out on this patio, which I'll show you in a little while. Also got something cool to tell you about that I'm working on. So hopefully it's a video that you guys would like to subscribe to um, in the future. But this behind me is a Wix kitchen and I'm actually in the process of buying five different kitchens, all exactly the same to make a really cool kitchen comparison video. So it's the exactly the same units and I can go through what I think of price, quality and all the in-depth things that might be missed um, from any other review. But um, I'm really excited about doing it. So please subscribe if you're interested and that should be coming to you in the next couple of months. But the Wix ones come first, which is flat pack and I'm just waiting on the other four. The four I've chosen are Ren, Magnet, Wix, DIY Kitchens and one other that I now can't remember. This wall was all completely coming out so there was the immersion tank here and there was a storage cupboard here that's all been removed. That's that part of the chimney stack which the chimney sort of behind all this insulation there. So that needs to come out. And this loo is going to become a corridor down to the extension and the extension double story, which is going all the way out here, basically a meter from that fence. And it's going to be a playroom in the front for our daughter, um, maybe a little snuggy room next to it. And then a living space in the back going all the way back out into the patio, which I'll show you. This is the old kitchen. Some more structural walls have come out over here, which you can see from the ceiling. Again, they were just block work. Um, they put a washing machine and a tumble dryer in there, and that's why there's a feed, hot and cold tap to that there. So I got rid of those quite easily. It always takes about 10, 15 minutes per wall to remove, but then getting rid of the rubbish takes twice as long. And this is more about the HelloFresh. So you can see behind me how it all arrives. Um, it's a really good deal at the moment. So if you do NHR60, or oh sorry, 60NHR, so Nick's Home Renovations, that's 60NHR, you'll get 60% off your first box and 25% off the next eight boxes. And what a box contains, you can do a mixture, but for my wife and I, uh, we get three meals across two days um, for around 28, 29 pounds. So 60% off brings it down to like 11, 12 pounds. Um, and I'll show you how it comes. So it comes in the box. I have eaten two of the three dinners, so I won't be able to show you all of it, but this is how the food generally comes. So it's so easy to prepare. It comes with instructions, or you can look on the app. This is for a chicken korma curry. So I've got the rice, korma paste, a pepper, and then some chicken stock and tomato puree, and it comes with some naan bread. Um, so the bit I like about this is after working here all day, I'm usually quite dirty and dusty. And just dying to get home and have a shower and what i don't want to be doing is going to a supermarket when i feel a bit horrible and buying all the things so they get delivered to your door you get home and all you have to do is cook it so this one i think would take about 20 minutes 25 minutes um, and you can get recipes that are quick and easy or a bit more detailed but what i've really noticed is it's the things you can't replicate is how good the sauces are 
So obviously you can buy meat and things from the supermarket, but I've been really impressed by how flavoursome things are. And I'm doing things that I never usually cook, such as cooking with prawns and seafood, which I wouldn't usually tackle. But everything's been really tasty and there's 50 plus recipes just for dinner. So it's a really cool thing, especially if you don't want to go to the supermarket. And as I say, it all comes in recyclable packaging, really easily, really easy to cook, depending on what you go for. And it comes straight to your door. So use the code 60NHR, 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight. Let's take you outside and you guys can teach me about the garden. So this is the rubble left over from the walls I removed upstairs. And now I can confidently tell you what the plans are. So this is going to be the double height side extension all the way up here with that playroom and snug at the front and then the living space going from pretty much this sort of drain pipe all the way forward to what will be near the end of the patio as our living space to here and then from where I am we're having a single story extension all the way so basically this patio is replicating what the single story extension will be but we're stopping at the garage um, so we can have windows here in the kitchen and have light coming in from there as well there's going to be three skylights one thin one by the kitchen one in the middle where our table will be and one in that living space in the corner um, the price has been agreed with the builder so i'm just waiting for him to give me a start date now um, i'm super excited to get going let's show you some of the roses there are roses everywhere in this garden they're looking really lovely but obviously they're a bit deadly especially for someone like me who has never gardened living in a flat since 2012 but let's show you some down here it's really pretty and i'll take you down towards the swimming pool which we've been filling with some of the rubble so we had beach hedges running all the way down here Always, so we've had those removed and in about two weeks we've got a fence coming and we're going to new dark brown fences going the whole way so that'll really improve it back here and as you can see this has been our piling ground for all the rubble so to save filling it up with concrete the plan is to throw as much rubble as we can in here take all this concrete out around the edges all around these walls and when the diggers here we're going to punch lots of holes in the bottom and crack lots of holes so it never fills up again and we're going to bring these bricks a bit lower and then put about two foot worth of soil on top that we're going to get out of the digging for the foundations but so it's been quite useful to get rid of it but i just hope we need to do it make sure we do it properly so nothing ever fills up with water again and the grass or whatever goes on top of it grows properly these beautiful trees looking so nice now I'm really pleased I've never lived in a garden with trees like that and then more roses and other things down here and then the eventual plan is back here is to bring the garden in slightly by planting trees along the back and then have like a hidden area back here with this concrete pad where I have a shed on it and then maybe a compost heap and things like that back here but there will eventually be a tree line across here or some hedges um, that would be fairly fast growing to give us some privacy at the back it's obviously tons of work back here but it's really exciting about how nice it looks already since spring and summer has started all of this wall is going to come out so when the diggers here the builder is going to get rid of all of this and all this wall because it's just Looks like it's going to fall down anyway, it wouldn't take much. But the digger can probably do it all in sort of half a day. And the plan is to try and relocate this section here onto one of these edges so we have both edges filled with plants and flowers and things. But it's pretty cool to imagine all this filled up with a house I just want to get going hopefully within the next month so 
So that's it for now. So hopefully next time I see you, the builder will have started. Um, I can start getting some time lapses going of the builders working. Um, I've got some time lapses of upstairs, so I'll make sure I put those in with this video. And um, please subscribe if you're interested in my kitchen comparison video, which I'm really excited about as I've never done anything in this much depth. So I've got five kitchens from five companies, all exactly the same. And I'm gonna let you know where the cheapest is, where the best quality is, and the features of each. So I think you guys will find that really interesting. So please subscribe for that. And there is the potential as well that I'm gonna give one of them away um, to my YouTube subscribers as well. So thanks to everyone for watching and subscribing. Really excited to get my planning permission and get going. And um, hopefully I'll see you soon with the builder starting. Have a good day.